Hello friends, this is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com back again with another moment for chronic wellness. So glad you're with me. We're talking about dealing with the unpredictability of chronic illness and whether that's that your condition is wildly unpredictable and you don't really experience stability or whether that's that your condition has changed. You've got some new diagnoses or um, whether you're dealing with secondary illnesses like colds or viruses. Um, you know, it's hard enough to wrap our heads and minds and lives around the new world order that is chronic illness. And then, you know, once we finally and maybe tenuously got those bricks in place, uh, it's so hard when the sand underneath our feet just shifts or dissolves and we watch what we've assembled just kind of wash away and, and we're left again trying to put together the pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. I know for me, um, this points me toward the very familiar groove of depression my spirit really takes a hit when um, my body is doing even worse than it once was. And of course, the, the fears that start to cycle in my mind are fears like, what if this is the new normal? What if, you know, ramping migraines that get worse from 1 o'clock p.m. Um, now start at 10 a.m.? What if I don't get those few extra hours a day? Or I've been catching these viruses pretty continuously this fall, and I have thought that that was pretty limited in duration, but what if this is the new normal? Or um, any amount of chronic pain that worsens, what if this is now the new state of my pain body? It's really a lot to be taking on and hard at even the best of times and even with the most understanding of people in our lives to convey what's happening. You know, I um, am thinking right now about Shay, who's uh, reached out to me through YouTube. Thank you, Shay. I've appreciated our exchanges and your candor and your comments. and when we don't have a lot of people in our lives who are very supportive or understanding or careful and kind, it makes the experience so much more isolating, so much more filled with depression and solitude. It makes me afraid that Anytime I open my mouth to explain to somebody my circumstance, that it's going to be met with disbelief, with them writing me off, with uh, somebody dismissing me, with somebody accusing me of complaining, any of these things which will send me further into the spin of depression and isolation and feeling like I'm in this alone. And if there's any message that I want you to get from, from me being here <laughs> broadcasting, it is that you aren't alone and that I am but one of many voices. We know from the CDC that four in 10 Americans have chronic conditions and that six in 10 have two or more. We are the vast majority, and yet um, we have a culture of quiet. We have a culture of keep it to yourself. We have a culture of um, don't talk about medical conditions with one another. I, I feel like it's right up there with politics, religion, and money. In many ways, we don't talk deeply about what's happening in our physical or medical lives with one another, um, with rare exception. And 
part of me um, finding the energy and time to make these videos is to make a space to do that differently, to, to counteract my own upbringing and dominant culture in talking about what's real and what's hard about um, and what's wonderful and, and strange and unique and interesting about journeying with chronic illness. So thank you for being here. Uh, we'll continue to explore this. And in the meantime, I hope you're finding ways to tend to your spirit each and every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. You are absolutely worth it. Nothing is worth it more than you. Thanks for tuning in. And until we're together again, be well.